Most people in America are aware of who a player is and who is a player. The player is always the liar who wants to look like he's something, but he's still the liar. And the liar of him is screaming in his aura, I'm a liar. I was just approach, approached by a black man who wanted to play me with some dollars. I always question, why is that, please? Because I don't want to be played with by people who think that they are black E's. What I mean by that is that there are generous people in a community, and generous people do nice things for me, but generous people do not play financial abuser, mental health, and pastor all at the same time. The liars of America are very obvious to people of intelligence. So this black man is trying to compliment me, but the interesting thing about him is he allegedly knows I'm very intelligent, but how would he know it? He just met me. What I found is that he was absolutely unwilling to receive any type of blessing from the God in heaven because his version of God he feels is smarter than my version of God. The crazy thing about that man is that he is off track. All God is one God. All of heaven is one heaven. There is no difference regardless of the religion or the spirituality or the precision in which someone knows about God. His version of God comes from what? A few readings of the Bible? Or has he really had a, a life of connoisseuring the videos and the films and the books about God? What I know is that players like to play me, that when I'm working, they like to play in to disrupt and interrupt what I'm doing so that they can continue to go on stealing and thieving my life from me. You're going to lie to yourself in front of Jesus Christ no matter what I say to you. You told me that you wanted to give me a blessing and that you did. But in return, it is my right to talk to you because what you're saying to me is I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart. Really? Is it really the kindness of your heart to lie in records about me? Is it in the kindness of your heart to play a lie at me? Is it in the kindness of your heart to stalk me, which is a violation of federal law, of which you can get caught for because there are players in the lot. If you don't know what players in the lot are, then you don't know what the fuck you're doing here. Because players in the lot are always watching you, looking at you, observing you. And the player can play up to you and say, you know, you never solicit, you never think, and you go, hmm, isn't that interesting? I just said that marvelously to a manager of a shop, and now I'm being played back at me. Or you just saw that in a recording that was on my computer. Isn't that marvelous that the FBI is here? But the liars of America want to ruin people's lives. The liars in America connect themselves to other people who lie, steal, and cheat you and me out of our, not our paltry dollars, but of our rights. I have the right to say no to money. I have the right to say yes to money. If you're providing it to my ministry, I may say yes. I may say no. Because what I'm after is why are you doing it? If you can't articulate why you're doing this, then get the fuck off me. No offense to the religious people in the world, but Christians swear. Even pastors of major mega churches of 12,000 people swear. They curse in front of other people. They do it privately with people they're counseling, and they do it to look more real. But the truth is that real is still real, and lies are still lies. But if you keep thinking that you're going to do one more fucking thing to my thighs or my dick or any part of me, little fucking bastard over there, I am going to cut you quick. You can't possibly stand in front of me like a real person. You lied yourself because you're listening to my channel, and motherfucker, I never gave that to you. So you lied yourself already, and you're through.